What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler. And Mike. And this Big West Women's Basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. That's right. It is Big West Conference play. You see all the banners up in the pyramid. Long Beach State is the last banner. It's the biggest one, but they were picked to finish last in the preseason poll in the Big West. They're trying to prove that they belong at the top of this conference. A Riverside baptism by fire against a top conference foe. Uh, this, this 49er team shorthanded just eight players available against a Riverside team that goes 10 deep and Riverside out early with the block party and then hitting long jumpers to take the lead. Yeah, they, they took an early advantage, but Long Beach eventually would bounce back. Finally got the offensive going with Pip. Points in the paint, and as you see, Bianca Balthazar taking it to the rack, and then the Sanchez, Alex Sanchez, if they're not going to stop ball, she's going to take it the distance, just starting off her quality evening. Yeah, the freshman knows what to do if they're not going to get in front of her, and then bounces going Long Beach's way. The senior, Tepesa Moore, gets it to roll right there, and then Haley Manessis off the glass. We'll call that an assist to uh, Chantel Dooley on the putback. Yeah, got to appreciate those lucky home bounces, and then UCR staying in it, hitting shots from the perimeter. You see a pair of triples right here, but the 49ers would close the first half on a fury as you see Moore getting another jump shot there, and then from distance Bianca Balthazar going around the world for the three. They started 0 for 3 from beyond the arc, but finished 4 for 4 in the first half. Clutch buckets from the freshman Sanchez and the senior Moore are really sparking this run, but Look at this, great passing, setting up Mary Ochiltree for the Ochil 3. <laughs> Indeed, the Ochil 3, and then Manessis hits the 3 to end the first. Long Beach State ending on a 13-3 run to take the 11-point lead. All smiles the 49ers were going into the locker room. But in the second half, the Highlanders exploring the lowlands, getting the ball into the paint, and then Niners not cleaning up the defensive glass, allowing back-to-back -back buckets here from Trisha Nottingham. Nottingham Palace had a game-high 19 points to lead her squad. Uh, she shouldn't be getting offensive rebounds, but the 49ers getting out in transition, Mary Ogle two and one to make it <laughs> Ogle three, but it's Ogle tree. Anyway, the game's tied at 46 here. Here's some clutch threes from Haley Manessis. Niners taking the lead on these threes from their makeshift point guard right there. Knocks down the second one. That and almost knocks down Jody Witt, look out. No, the referee ran right through her right there. Natasha Hadley with the and one to try and keep Riverside in it, but Long Beach State's defense phenomenal. Riverside hit a field goal with 7-11 left in the game and then went seven minutes without hitting another field goal as the 49ers showed what their strength is and really clamped down. All over them, Moore here putting the cap on it. She had 17-6 and six to lead Long Beach State. They will take the win. Jody Wynn uh, appreciates that one getting off to a good start in league play. Alex Sanchez with 13 points, six boards, and six assists. She did a little bit of everything tonight. 49ers are 1-0 in the conference. They were picked to finish dead last, ninth out of nine teams, and they did it against a UC Riverside team that's won a share of the conference championship three of the last six years and has been to a postseason tournament five of the last six years. We call that a statement win, and to find out what the second part of the statement is, you're going to have to be in the pyramid Saturday at 1 p.m. as the 49ers take on UC Irvine. If you can't get there, get back here. We're GazetteSports.com, and we are Long Beach Sports.